Hey guys, it's Brooke. Welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new here. I hope you guys stay. So for today's video, in lieu of it being October 1st, which for me personally means everything and all things from this point forward is Halloween, I am going to be sharing with you guys a scary story time. Halloween is one of my favorite times of year. October is one of my favorite months of the year. So I am super excited that it is October 1st and to start getting in some really spooky videos. I have so many spooky, cool videos planned for this month. So make sure you guys turn on your post notifications if you haven't, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And before we get into this video, make sure you guys follow me on all my social media pages, which will be right over here. And let's get into our first scary story time of the month. So as you guys have read by the title of this video, there is a ghost in my house, or at least so. So I think there is. Now if you guys haven't seen some of my other videos where I talk about my house being haunted, they'll be like up top over here, I'll link one up there, you guys can go watch that. I would recommend listening to that one first. I'll also link them in the description below. But as I've said in past videos, I don't believe that my house is haunted haunted, if that makes sense. I mean, when I say that, I mean that I don't experience ghost activity in my house on a daily basis, or at least that I'm aware of. I sometimes can be very unaware of things, but at the same time, I also overthink every little thing. So I could be home alone at night and hear a noise and be like, well, there's a burglar in my house and I'm going to be murdered and killed and yes. But then there's also times where I could open my fridge and my dad would ask me to get the ketchup for him and it'll be right in front of my face and I won't see it because I'm oblivious sometimes. So that being said, it's not every day that I'm experiencing ghost-like activity. I might even say it's not even every week. I mean, it's almost kind of rare. But when it does happen, it is the most terrifying things and the most unexplainable things that happen. So in this story time in particular, I'm going to be talking about something that happened to me literally a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago, that was quite terrifying and of course happened to me when I was home alone. So where should I begin? I guess I'll begin with the fact that I had been home alone the entire week because my dad was on vacation. So it was just me and my dog. And this week, in particular had been a dreary, cloudy, rainy, disgusting week. Like every day was just raining, raining, raining. Now, when it comes to my safety, my dad is, as I'm sure many fathers and parents are, is very overprotective, overcautious. He has cameras everywhere. He is making sure that every door is always locked making sure that no windows are ever open, like, and especially since he wasn't home, he wanted to make sure I was going to be safe. So knowing this and knowing my dad's personality, my dad, before he had left for his vacation, had locked every single window, every single door, whatever. Now, a few days pass by, he's away, I'm home alone, and I am enjoying my alone time, enjoying my peace and quiet, just me and my pup. And one day, I come home from school, as I normally do Monday through Thursdays. I normally get home around 12.30ish. So I had gotten home at around the same time I normally get home, and it had been pouring out, like just pouring. It was a miserable day out and I'm not thinking anything of it. So I'm just going about my day, watching some TV, doing some homework, you know, doing the usual things I normally do. And I guess I had a lot of free time on my hands that day. I didn't have work. So I had decided I wanted to film a singing video for you guys. If you guys don't know, I sing. It's a thing. Follow me on my music channel. It's going to be linked in the description below. I'll link it up here. It'll be at the end of the video. Anyway, so I am a singer, so I decided I wanted to take my recording studio equipment downstairs from upstairs. Now the way my house is layered, I have kind of a small house and when you walk upstairs, the upstairs isn't really like an upstairs of the hallway in different rooms. It's just an upstairs that goes in like straight into being a room. Like there's not a door, you just walk up and it's one big room. And 
Growing up, that had always been me and my twin sister's bedroom and it was so much fun. But then as we grew up and Hurricane Sandy happened, my dad had redid our house and split my garage into different rooms because we had the room. And now obviously I have my own room, which I'm standing in. And my sister had her own room, which was right next door to mine. And then my dad had his, his room next door to mine. I'm smack in the middle of both their rooms. But for some reason, my sister decided she doesn't want to be next door anymore. She wanted to move her stuff upstairs because upstairs is like big and spacious and she just didn't like her downstairs room. So she wanted the upstairs to herself. So she moved her stuff upstairs and she always was telling me, Brooke, I want you to take your recording equipment downstairs. Like this is my room now. I want it all out of my room. So whatever, being the good sister I am, I decided, you know what? I want to make a singing video. And instead of resetting up all my equipment that she had unset up upstairs, I wanted to kill her for that, but I love her. <laughs> I decided I would just take all my stuff downstairs and try and find a place to set it up in my room. One day, if you guys want, I could give you a room tour, but the way I designed my room, it is, I, I love my room. I literally love my room. It's beautiful in my opinion. Um, and I only have one big dresser and I have a vanity and then I have my bed and my two little nightstands and everything's just like very aesthetic and like, but what I don't have in my room is a big desk to set up my recording equipment. So trying to find a place to put this stuff is gonna be kind of difficult, which is why I have yet to post a singing video because I've been unable to set this stuff up to record, but that being said, I go upstairs with the intention of taking down all of my recording studio equipment and when I go up there, I notice the window is wide open. Now, this freaked me out a little bit for the sole reason that my dad never goes upstairs, ever. He never goes up there and my sister is away at college. So obviously it couldn't have been my sister because she had been away for like a month and a half prior to when I found this window open and it 210% was not my father because anytime, like I said before, my father leaves to go somewhere, even if it's just to work, he will always make sure every window is shut and locked in my house. He's very anal about that stuff. So he wouldn't have went upstairs and opened the window and not shut it before he had left for vacation. And I didn't go up there and open the window. I had no reason to go up there and open the window. I was in my room down here and only in my kitchen and living room. Like I never go upstairs when my sister isn't home. So it kind of freaked me out quite a bit. Plus it was pouring out. So of course everything was wet and I was like, I can't understand how this window got opened. But I played it off in my head as my dad had opened it before he left and just forgot to shut it, which honestly is something that is very extremely unlikely of him to do. And I went about my day, you know, brought down my recording equipment, tried setting that up, blah, 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 blah. And once I began to fail to set the stuff up and started getting frustrated, I decided I was just gonna watch TV in my living room. Now, I'm home alone and I'm in my living room and I'm watching a show, don't even remember what show I was watching, and all of a sudden, my dog does something really weird. Now, my dog is really weird in general. My friends and I and my family and I always say that she is something else. Like, she's just something else. She's, she's not all there, you know? She's a little stupid, if you will. Love her to pieces, but she is dumb. So, my dog, she is a huge 180 pound Rottweiler. Her face is like this big. She is a big, big mush. She is the cutest thing ever. And when she has to be aggressive, she can be. She barks when people are at the door, you know, she's kind of scary. Most people are scared of her until they obviously get to know her and they find out she's just like stupid and a mush and thinks she's two pounds. So my dog acts weird on a daily basis. And when I say weird, I mean just like she does stupid things. Like she'll be eating her food and she'll take like a bite of food and then spit all the food out and only pick up certain pieces of the food. And then a couple hours later, if she finds a piece of her food on the floor, she will start dancing around it and picking it up and barking at it. She does things like that are weird like this all the time. However, this next thing she did, she rarely ever does. She has done it a few 
very few select times before and every time it has scared me to my bones. Now, as most people know or say or hear, animals have a sense for spirits and spiritual life and the afterlife. They just like can sense ghosts, supposedly. I'm sitting on my couch, my dog is laying by my feet and all of a sudden she gets up and is standing near the TV but turns her body like parallel to the TV and is staring into my dining room. And she's just staring. And I'm like, Bailey, what are you doing? And I'm trying to call her and I'm like, Bailey, what are you doing? And like, I'm looking and I'm like, what? And she's just staring there with her ears up, staring there. And I got chills because I was afraid. And where my dining room is now, the past year my dad had redone the entire inside of my house. So that used to be his bedroom where my dining room is now. And they knocked the walls down and stuff. A few times before that had happened, when that used to be my dad's bedroom, my dog would often walk into that room and walk by his bed and just stop and stare at a weird specific spot. And we'd always think it was like a ghost she was seeing. She was staring in the same area where she used to do that. So obviously I got a little bit chilled and I was like, all right, you know what? I wanna move into my room. It was late, it was probably 10 o'clock at night. I decided to move into my room. I had locked all my doors before I went to bed as I have really bad anxiety and anytime I'm home alone, I constantly think that someone is going to break into my house and kidnap and murder me. I mean, I literally think this every night and I'll be laying in my bed and think someone's in my house. Like it's just a constant thing. So I'm in my room, my dog is inside, she's laying right in front of my door because I have her dog bed there and my door is open and I'm laying in my bed, I'm on my phone, on Instagram, scrolling around, scrolling around and all of a sudden I start getting freezing cold, like freezing cold as if it had been snowing in my room. I am freezing, suddenly freezing and I'm like why am I so cold like my air conditioner is not on it's September it never gets this cold in September yes it had been a rainy day but it was still 70 probably 60 at night but I mean it felt like it was 20 degrees that's how cold it was it was absolutely freezing like I have literally three fuzzy blankets on my bed and a big quilt blanket and I was shivering because I was so cold and so I'm like this is weird like maybe I forgot to shut off the air conditioner inside maybe it had been turned on but I didn't remember it being turned on but I was like my air conditioner is not on so maybe an air conditioner out there is on so I get up to go into my living room to see if any of the air conditioners are on and oh my god like I'm literally about to scream like thinking about this. I go to walk into my living room and my big sliding doors are wide open, like literally wide open. And I hadn't made it all the way up the stairs yet to go into my living room, but I could see the sliding door from where I was standing and I completely froze in place because I thought someone was in my house. I couldn't move. Like when I tell you I couldn't move, I couldn't, I couldn't even, I didn't even know what to do. Like my heart felt like it had stopped. I couldn't even breathe. I felt like I was so, so scared. And so as quietly as I can, I tiptoe back into my room. And before I do anything and make any noise, I sit in my bed, I grab my phone and I just think for a minute because I'm, beyond confused. I'm like, there's no way I left that door open. There's absolutely no way I left it open. I wouldn't have done that. I I literally have to walk through my living room to get into my bedroom. I would have seen it 100% open. I always lock the door before I go to bed and I was laying in my bed to go to bed. My dog had been inside. Sometimes during the day, if I'm like doing things around the house, I'll leave the door open so my dog can go in and outside because she always wants to go in and out and in and out. So I'll leave it open and then once she comes inside, I always, always shut it. But especially at night, if I had even let her outside, which I don't remember doing, even if I had let her outside and she came back inside, I. I know for a fact I would have shut it. And the reason why it even sketched me out even more is because even when I do let her outside, when it is at night, as soon as she goes outside, I shut the door behind her and I lock both locks because I always get scared, like, sorry, Bailey, but I always get scared that someone could be in my backyard and is gonna try and run into my house. So I always quickly shut it and lock it. 
again, I have really bad anxiety. I overthink everything. I know that there's no people in my backyard, but I do this every single time I let her out at night. Every single night she like wakes me up to let her outside. So every single night I let her outside before I go to bed and I always do this same routine. So for me to have left that door open was just not, like I knew it hadn't been me. But then I'm also thinking, when I'm in my bed, I can hear every single noise. I can hear when someone is going through my front door. I can hear when someone's walking up my front steps. I hear very clearly when that door opens and shuts and my door was a crack open. Normally my door is completely shut, but it had been a little bit open since I was home alone. I wanted to see my dog. So I would have a hundred percent heard that door open and my dog would have heard it open and my dog would have heard people walking throughout the house. I would have heard people walking throughout the house. She would have been barking. She would have gotten up. Like, so I'm sitting in my bed and I'm thinking like, there's no way someone can be in my house. There's absolutely no possible way. There's no way. My dog would have gotten up and barked a hundred percent. And I would have heard that door open. I would have. And I would have heard people walking throughout my area because I'm very, my house again is small. I can even right now as I'm here, like filming this video, you guys might not be able to hear it, but I heard my dad walk in right before I started filming this video. I heard him walk into my house and I was like, he's going to try and come in here. And I hear him walking throughout my house and I hear him on the phone right now. Like I would have heard him. I hear his footsteps all the time constantly. Like I would have heard it. So my heart is like racing, but at the same time, I'm trying to be logical and not have a panic attack. And I'm like, there's just no way that someone's in this house. So I walk up the steps and I just stand there and I'm listening and listening and listening. And I stood there for probably 30 minutes to make sure I didn't hear any movement or any noise whatsoever. And once I was sure, I walked throughout every crevice of my house and nobody was there. And I had a wallet on my kitchen table. I had money out. I had my bags everywhere. And there was, was a lot of things around my house that if someone had been in my house to steal something, those things would have quickly had been taken immediately. Now, if someone came in my house to murder me, they would have been making a lot more noise and probably came into my bedroom and killed me or looked in the bedrooms. Like, that's the other thing. If someone thought that someone wasn't home in my house, they wouldn't have just walked throughout like the living room and kitchen dining room area right there. They would have definitely came down these stairs and checked these rooms and checked upstairs and I would have heard them walking up and down the stairs because I can hear everything. So it just didn't make sense that someone would have been in my house. But it also didn't make sense that I had opened the door because one, I would have remembered opening the door and two, I have extreme anxiety constantly, especially at night. I'm very afraid of the dark when I'm home alone. I constantly think someone's gonna come in my house. I constantly, constantly think that someone's in my backyard. I wouldn't have left that door wide open like that. And even when I let my dog outside, I don't open it as far open as it was opened. That being said, the literal only thing that I could imagine happened was a ghost did it. And I felt crazy telling myself that. Like, I literally felt insane saying like, it must have been a ghost, but because of the two things that had happened prior that day, I had to, like I had to just tell myself that that's what it was. Also, my dad has cameras. So if someone had been walking around my front yard, the cameras are pointing at every angle. You would have seen someone come through my backside gate. You would have seen them leave and his, the motion detectors didn't go off. So the only thing that made sense to me was either A, I, really am stupid and I must have left it open, but that's just so not like me. It's just so routine of me to shut that door. And I just wouldn't leave a door open like that at night. Like, it's just not me. I lock every single door. Like it just, it wasn't me. Like I know it wasn't me. And I was texting my friends and I was like, guys, I'm spooked. Like this door is open and they're all like, no, like you probably did it. You're stupid. Like you probably left it open. But like, yeah, I can do silly things. Sometimes we all can, but like, I swear, I swear I would not ever leave that door wide open at night like that. Like I just wouldn't have, I wouldn't have. And if I did open it, I would have stood there until I could close it. If my, if I had opened it to let my dog outside and forgot to close it or like, like, even if I had opened it to let my dog outside, which I don't remember doing, like, she was inside, I don't remember her, like, I don't remember that, but even if I did do that, say, 
If I had opened my door to let my dog outside, I wouldn't have just, first of all, I wouldn't have opened it as wide as it was open because she's, she's, she's big, but she's thin. So I wouldn't have had to like open it as wide as I needed to. So I wouldn't have had to open it as far as it was open. And I just know for a fact I wouldn't open that door and just be like, like let her outside and not immediately close it. Like I, I just know I wouldn't. I also hate bugs. And I have these lights next to my door where sometimes bugs will always fly in if I have the door open too long So I I just always immediately shut the door Maybe you guys are probably gonna think it was me who did it But I also didn't open the window upstairs and I also can't explain why my dog was staring at that weird spot that she always stares at So if you ask me I am going to conclude that a ghost did it and if you want to tell me different you can tell me different but there's Absolutely no way that someone was in my house because everything was the way I had left it. Nothing was stolen And I honestly can say I'm a hundred percent sure that I did not open that door, but Yeah, I mean thinking about this even still it's just freaking me out because it's honestly I think one of the scariest things that has ever happened to me. Like, yeah, weird things will happen. Like, I mean, in my other story time, you can hear stories about things that have happened, but like, I think it's the scariest thing that ever happened to me directly. But anyway, I hope this story frightened you as much as it frightened me. Um, I'm glad that it is still the daytime so I don't have to go and edit this video. And I'm glad my dad is home now so I don't have to be alone. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Happy October 1st. I hope you guys are ready for a bunch of scary videos because I'm so ready. Halloween time is, of course, my favorite time of year. So have a very happy October 1st and I will see you guys on Wednesday. And don't forget to subscribe already. I'll see you guys.